Good afternoon. Welcome to ATX West 2014. I'm Chris Pryor, one of the tech support engineers for IAI America, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some of our products here today. Over here to my right is our exciting new product called the CT4. It's a high-speed Cartesian pick-and-place unit. It's integrated to a vision system, so we're able to pick up parts out of a random work area and place them down into an array. Capable of 3G XLD cell and 2.5 meters a second, it's our solution for high-speed pick-and-place. Also new this year within our Robo Cylinder line is our brand new ultra-small RCD-based gripper. It's a two-finger gripper, capable of multiple positions, different speeds and accelerations. This is our RCP4W, it's our new IP67 rated rod type actuator, capable of wash down. Here we are hosing it down with some just tap water. Uh, multiple positions, multiple speeds, that's kind of the name of our game for IAI, is a lot of different motor options, servos and steppers, but the ability to have different speeds, accelerations, and different points in space. This is our new iteration of our tabletop series, it's called the TTA. It integrates a controller inside to a multi-axis platform. This is how it arrives. What it gives you is multiple axis control, interpolation of motion, pick and place, dispensing applications, all kinds of things that might have been manual before or easy to automate or semi-automate. It utilizes the same programming language that we do on the small robot as we do on the larger systems like our Scaras and large Cartesians and CT4 type product. Based on steppers, what it has allowed us to do is double our payload and double our speed compared to the previous series. Here we're showing off a uh, master product called an Omron, it's a PAC, and what it's doing is it's talking to our products via various field bus technologies, things like Ethernet IP to these two devices over here, and EtherCAT to the larger axis. With that, it's able to act as a master device, it can display things on an HMI, show you how your actuators are doing, what they're, where they are in space, how fast they're moving, current state of operations, things like that. With that, that kind of concludes the tour of our booth. I'd like to thank you for coming by this year and enjoy the rest of the show.